Howdy, howdy, people of the internet. My name is Orchestrion. You can call me Orc for short, Orchestrion for long. Ever wonder what it'd be like to play as Ralsei in Team Fortress 2? Well, here's your chance. Today, we're going to be analyzing the character of Ralsei from Deltarune, and we're going to viably build a loadout designed to emulate him in TF2. Three things we gotta tackle. Class, cosmetics, and weapons. We want to capture the essence of Ralsei, and what he looks like, his skills and abilities, and the way he would play. To begin our Badlandian cosplay of this hero of the legend, we need to start with choosing a class for our faithful foundation. Since we are representing Ralsei in both appearance and personality, we unfortunately have to turn away from Pyro, whose seared sorcerer cosmetic painted green really evokes Ralsei's Chapter 1 design. I should know because I actually wear that for my personal pyro loadout. Ralsei is the fun gang's dedicated mage slash healer, and I believe that Medic's abilities will stand for his portrayal much closer to that of Delta Rune. Now that we have our base, let's dress the Medic up so that he at the very least resembles the Prince of the Dark and Fluffy Boy Supreme. For simplicity's sake, we'll start from the top and work our way down. Let's kick this off with a set of horrible horns to represent Ralsei's little goat horns. We're going to paint them pink as hell, of course, and bask in the glory of Medic's horrible horns design actually having two paintable horns. <coughs> Moving on, let's bring a little bit more Fluffy Boy into our medicinal maniac. The brutal bouffant painted white allows us to capture both Ralsei's little hair tuft and also reference the silhouette of the Darkner's Nubian goat-like floppy ears. I swear to the almighty sandwich in the sky that I could not make up my mind on the Chronomancer or a pink painted Heat of Winter for the third cosmetic slot. After hemming and hawing about it during multiple walks back to my abode, I ultimately chose the Heat of Winter painted pink. The extra clothes helped to bring Medic's coat shape closer to Ralsei's baggy robes, and the shock of pink feels more true to Ralsei's bright chromatic colors. You know, we could stop there and move right into the weapons category. Or... With Scream Fortress 2022 dropping, we can make a far more faithful alternative version of Chapter 1 Ralsei real quick! Alright, 3, 2, 1, go! All we have to do is alter the paint on the horrible horns from Pink as to Indubitably Green, and replace the Brutal Bouffant with the new Starlight Sorcerer cosmetic painted Indubitably Green with the glasses style. Boom! Now we have Hat Ralsei for Medic. Alright kid, you look the part. Now you gotta act the part, and for that we're gonna need to pick out our weapons. We have to find the weapon in each category that best represents Ralsei. Starting with our primary, this is going to be a no-brainer. We'll be picking up the Crusader's Crossbow to emulate Ralsei's Heal Prayer. The Heal Prayer heals only one teammate at a time in large bursts of HP. The Crossbow is the unrivaled king of burst healing in TF2, and will go a long way in keeping the other members of the sh squad up in the heat of battle. For Ralsei's Medigun, I'm going with the Vaccinator. Before I go into the explanation, real quick spoiler warning for Chapter 2. If you don't want to be spoiled on a certain boss fight, skip to the time on screen. I'll meet you there. Alright, the rest of you guys good? Let me proceed. In the normal route spam to Neophyte, Ralsei has the Fluffy Guard spell available, which can temporarily make four small protective shields that reduce incoming damage. Now where have I heard that before? Hmm. And finally for Melee, the most true-to-character choice no doubt is the Amputator. Ralsei's attack power is inherently weaker than his teammates by default. The Amputator also allows us to heal multiple teammates at once. This will emulate one more of Ralsei's magic spells, his dual heal that's available to heal all other members of the Lancer fan club in chapter boss fights. And there we have it. That's how you build a Ralsei loadout in TF2. Real quick, let's go over the pros and cons. You are truly living up to your reputation as team healer. Every single weapon in your arsenal can heal your team in some way. The Crusader's Crossbow allows you to heal at great range. It's not a bad damage dealer either. It stays true to Ralsei's ability in Deltarune, and it also just so happens to be the Meta Medic Primary. Whoa! The Vaccinator is powerful in the hands of a medic who knows how to use it. Having a great understanding of when to activate which type of Vaccinator shield will increase your effectiveness in controlling fights as they come along. Say goodbye to headshots and flog pyros as well. You're going to be resisting a whole lot of critical hits. And to cycle back into those defensive buffs, the Amputator also buffs your passive regen if you have it out. If you're not actively healing someone, you can pull it out and bring yourself back up to full HP quicker so you can keep the fight going on for longer. 
Because you're so specked out for healing, however, you've essentially pigeonholed yourself into one style of play. You're the antithesis of a jack of all trades, and that you're a master of one. Your playstyle as a result isn't going to be very diverse. Equipping the Amputator also means that you're denying yourself the utility of the Uber Saw and the Solemn Vow. Your penalty to last resort melee damage makes you worse at defending yourself if things go awry, and that means your safety is almost entirely in the hands of your teammates. Finally, due to the core design of the Vaccinator, your Ubers aren't going to be moving and shaking the game in very big ways. You're sacrificing the sheer power of the stock uber charge for the more readily available defensive bubbles, which are great for dominating one fight to another, but are not the most useful when trying to push or defend a crucial point. Above all though, I hope you folks have fun dressing up as Ralsei and carrying on his merciful medical spirit through this silly little hat game. Be sure to like and subscribe if you want to see more, and leave a comment down below for any suggestions for a character loader that you want to see me build. I've read the comments on the Mo episode, and it's safe to say that we'll be returning to the realm of adult animation sometime soon. Well, until next time.